praise the lord hallelujah beloved today we are going to read a very important chapter from the bible as we read acts chapter 10 from the king james version bible here it says cornelius sends for peter there was a certain man in caesarea called cornelius a centurion of what was called the italian regiment a devout man and one who feared god with all his household who gave alms generously to the people and prayed to god always about the ninth hour of the day he saw clearly in a vision an angel of god coming in and saying to him cornelius and when he observed him he was afraid and said what is it lord so he said to him your prayers and your arms have come up for a memorial before god now send men to jopa and send for simon whose surname is peter he is lodging with simon a tanner whose house is by the sea he will tell you what you must do and when the angel who spoke to him had departed cornelius called two of his household servants and a devout soldier from among those who waited on him continually so when he had explained all these things to them he sent them to jopa peter sees the great sheet the next day as they went on their journey and drew near the city peter went up on the house top to pray about the sixth hour then he became very hungry and wanted to eat but while they made ready he fell into a trance and saw heaven opened and an object like great sheet bound at the four corners descending to him and let down to the earth in it were all kinds of four footed animals of the earth and wild beasts creeping things and birds of the air and a voice came to him rise peter kill and eat but peter said not so lord for i have never eaten anything common or unclean and a voice spoke to him again the second time what god has cleansed you must not call common this was done three times and the object was taken up into heaven again now while peter wondered within himself what this vision which he had seen meant behold the men who had been sent from cornelius and made inquiry for simon's house 
and stood before the gate. And they called and asked whether Simon, whose surname was Peter, was lodging there. While Peter thought about the vision, the Spirit said to him, Behold, three men are seeking you. Arise, therefore, go down and go with them, doubting nothing, for I have sent them. Then Peter went down to the men who had been sent to him from Cornelius and said, Yes, I am he whom you seek. For what reason have you come? And they said, Cornelius, the centurion, a just man, one who fears God and has a good reputation among all the nation of the Jews, was divinely instructed by a holy angel to summon you to his house and to hear words from you. Peter preaches to the Gentiles. Then he invited them in and lodged them. On the next day, Peter went away with them and some brethren from Joppa accompanied him. And the following day, they entered Caesarea. Now Cornelius was waiting for them and had called together his relatives and close friends. As Peter was coming in, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshipped him. But Peter lifted him up, saying, Stand up, I myself am also a man. And he talked with him. He went in and found many who had come together. Then he said to them, You know how unlawful it is for a Jewish man to keep company with or go to one of another nation. But God has shown me that I should not call any man common or unclean. Therefore, I came without objection. As soon as I was sent, for I asked them, for then for what reason have you sent for me? And Cornelius said, Four days ago I was fasting until this hour, and at the ninth hour prayed in my house, and behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing and said, Cornelius, your prayer has been heard and your arms are remembered in the sight of God. Send therefore to Joppa and call Simon here, whose surname is Peter. He is lodging in the house of Simon, a tanner, by the sea. When he comes, he will speak to you. So I sent to you immediately, and you have done well to come. Now, therefore, we are all present before God to hear all the things commanded you by God. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, In truth, I will perceive that God shows 
no partiality but in every nation who ever fears him and works righteousness is accepted by him the word which god sent to the children of israel preaching peace through jesus christ he is lord of all that word you know which was proclaimed throughout all judea and began from galilee after the baptism which john preached how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for god was with him and we are witnesses of all things which he did both in the land of jews and in jerusalem whom they killed by hanging on a tree him god raised up on the third day and showed him openly not to all the people but to witnesses chosen before by god even to us who ate and drank with him after he arose from the dead and he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that it is he who ordained by god to be judge of the living and the dead to him all the prophets witness that through his name whoever believes in him will receive remission of sins gentiles are converted and speak in tongues while peter was still speaking these words the holy spirit fell upon all these all those who heard the word and those of the circumcision who believed were astonished as many as came with peter because the gift of the holy spirit has been poured out on the gentiles also for they heard them speak with tongues and magnify god then peter answered can any one forbid water that these should not be baptized who have received the holy spirit just as we have and he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the lord then they asked him to stay a few days amen here ends the reading of acts chapter 10 may god bless the reading as we saw the various points cornelius sends for peter then we saw peter sees the great sheet peter preaches to the gentiles then we saw gentiles are converted and speak in tongues may god bless each one of us there is a beautiful word in verse 42 and he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that it is he who was ordained by god to be judge of the living and the dead god bless you the word is life the word is spirit john 6 verse 63 and jesus christ is the way the way the truth and the life john 14 verse 6 is true god bless you numbers chapter 6 24 to 
ஆமேன் ஆமேன் ஹாலெலுயா ஆமேன்